welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching another motivational video so here we are it is a new week and just like every week we are about to get some cleaning and organizing done here in this life of mine these past few days have been really busy on our end we've had a lot of different things happen here at the apartment and let me tell you guys there has been so much stuff going on that I can't even I don't even know where to begin when it comes to the apartment updates and things like that so that's most definitely going to be a video that I'm going to have to set aside and film on a different day and today is not that day. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to get some cleaning and organizing done throughout our apartment. These past few days have been sort of busy and I haven't really been able to pick up after myself. Jake has been doing all the cleaning that he can however I honestly haven't done my part so things have been stacking up. With that being said I'm going to take you guys along with me to try to get some things done. I also haven't been feeling all that well so I wanted to just take a break and relax and focus on my body, my health and everything like that. I took a bath with some essential oils. I've been trying to take care of myself and my immune system as much as I can. Last night I did give the kids a bath with some essential oils and it was so lovely y'all. The whole upstairs smells so good and they also had a really really good night's rest. I feel like we all did because I got up this morning ready to go. I even went out and just got some things for Jake one and for myself as well. We got Jake one some new shirts and some shorts and some sweats because you guys this man has been honestly giving the clothes off his back just to make sure we are okay and things are just going as smoothly as they can even before he hit me with any type of news so yesterday we went out to just get him a few things because y'all I love whenever he looks good Jake one is his best self whenever he has his hair cut his beard done we went ahead and got him some stuff too he got some new shirts some sweats and y'all I went ahead and cut his hair I haven't cut anybody's hair and I would say a little bit over a month so I haven't been able to practice my technique but the other day I did go ahead and cut Jake one's hair and I trimmed up his beard and he looks so scrumptiously I'm sure y'all I'm not even gonna lie to y'all he looks so good I'm so happy I feel like I did a really great job Jake went isn't here y'all but I did make some discoveries during that haircut but whenever Jake went saw his haircut he was like oh Tasia yes like I'm here for it. he was really excited so I went ahead and gave him a haircut I also went ahead and cut the boys hair Jake went actually helped me out with Jonah's haircut because Jonah does not like haircuts whatsoever as soon as he hear that clipper turn on like he's like no like I don't want this like you know so Jake one had to help me out with his haircut which was really really good because Jake one does want to practice and he does want to learn how to cut the boys hair I am not an instructor in the cosmetology world however Jake one and I since we have seriously been 13 and 14 years old any new skill or anything that we learn if any one of us wants to know it we always teach each other like the new skill or anything that we have with that being said Jake one did help me out with Jonah's haircut last night and y'all it looks we have to take a different route but it looks so beautiful and I'm so excited about Jonah's future haircuts. I don't know why I'm just now getting nervous as I'm talking about this, but I'm getting really nervous. Jake one helped me out with the boys haircuts last night so we were able to get that done, which is why today we have a lot of cleaning to get done. Catching you guys up on a few routines, just touching base on a few things here and there and just taking you guys along with us, sharing some real life because like I said, we've been doing a lot. I have a few things written down in my book here. We have seven different things on the list that we have to get done today. And in the past I have never shared with you guys like the behind the scenes moment of how I get some planning done how I kind of plan out my content and what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today I want to take you guys along with me to share like some behind the scene moments of how I plan on getting some cleaning done around our apartment so I want to go ahead and just take the time out to do that with you guys today so I went ahead and wrote down like everything that I wanted to clean today I did film sitting down and writing it out in the past I would usually just write it in my binder I did go ahead and share a video with you guys on me going out to upgrade my binder system and just get some new things I did write some things out in my notebook here we have seven different categories that we have to go through and get done so there's gonna be a lot of cleaning and organizing to do today let's go ahead and get started I'm not gonna say anything else I'm just gonna go ahead and get started let's go So here in our kitchen, I'm going in with my regular cleaning routine, washing and unloading the dishwasher, as well as sharing products that I'm going to be using today. Thank you. 
Today I'm super excited because I picked up a new multi-surface cleaner and I'm excited to share what I think about it. We have some tough messes to clean in here you guys. Our stove is covered in grease, hard water stains, and a lot of food buildup. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on this new cleaner today. I'm really excited to be sharing what I think about it. Usually I go with my Thieves household cleaner but I'm excited to switch it up and let you guys know what I think. For our dishwasher today, I'm using Cascade Complete paired with some Rinse Aid. We picked this up from Walmart, and as I mentioned in previous videos, we use what we can grab at the time. We are still trying to find our perfect balance though, but we do love using liquid dishwasher cleaner paired with Rinse Aid just to make sure we get the shine we love and we get that hard stuck on food off. As I mentioned earlier, today I'm going to be testing out a new cleaner that I picked up from Walmart. It's Lysol Smart Multi-Surface Cleaner. I love the disinfecting wipes, so I wanted to try this too. It's pretty neat. You can refill your bottle 25 times. You just fill it up to the field line, and then you just add your cartridge. It's really easy to use. You add your water, put the cartridge in, put your lid on, and you go. I got the fresh water scent, and it smells so good, I could not stop spraying it on our countertops or on our stove. I sprayed down the outside of our stove, and then I let it sit for just a bit and then I wiped it down.
So I sprayed our stove down and I just wanted to let it sit for a tad bit. I didn't see anywhere on the bottle that you were supposed to let it sit for a long period of time, but I still want to let it sit for at least a minute or so while I popped on over and just cleaned out the sink. I feel like that was more than enough time, especially since we had so much grease, grime, and stuck on hard water stains and food. I just went ahead and let it sit and I will let you guys know, I was super, super duper surprised by how well this worked. I really love the smell and it got everything off our stove and it didn't leave a streak free but it did work very well and I didn't have to go in with any deep cleaning products So whenever I am cleaning our stove, I like to make sure I just pull the top of the stove up so I can clean underneath this. Way before we even got this stove, I learned to do this from watching cleaning videos here on YouTube, maybe like three years ago. So whenever we moved into this apartment and I saw that this was the stove that we had, I knew exactly what I needed to do to clean it. Whenever it comes to the top, I still have some more things to learn whenever it comes to deep cleaning the stove, but this is how I do it whenever I need to make sure I get all the crumbs off and there's no food at the top top of it. In our dining room, we got rid of the rug and the pillows that we had sitting over in the corner. Jaquen gave them away to a friend and y'all, I was so happy to get rid of it. It's just been sitting over in the corner taking up space. Since it's gone, I'm going to go ahead and clear things out in here.
So the two chairs that we have here at the dining room table, we've had these chairs for years now, you guys. I think like two years for real. We've had them for a long time. However, Jake Wynn did do some measuring and he did tell me that these two chairs are a lot wider than the chairs that I have picked out for the dining room table at the bottom. So the new chairs I'm gonna get, they probably won't touch here at the feet. And I'm really excited about that. So I'll be sharing some new content here in our dining room soon. But for now, I'm gonna be sharing a little haul with you guys and let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. So right now I just want to share with you guys like a small haul of a few things that we picked up from the store. If you guys have been watching us then you probably have seen some of this stuff in our vlogs but I went ahead and picked it up so I'm going to be sharing it. So here I just picked up two plates from Walmart. Y'all know Valentine's Day is coming up so I wanted to go ahead and get some new plates for Jake Wynn and myself. I also wanted to go ahead and start switching out all of our plates and things like that in our kitchen because I want to switch things up. I really love the style of these plates and also the bows you guys so here's the plates that I got and then here are the bows that I have here's the inside of that bow and then here's this bow so here's the brand right here and they actually have multiple designs but I just wanted to go ahead and you know pick out my own plates and bows I might add you know some different tableware and stuff like that from different from different brands but so far I like this one so I just picked up a few bows and a few plates so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up for Valentine's Day but eventually everything will be switched out to some bows in place that kind of you know match this and go along with this over here we got Jaden some Valentine's Day cards we haven't got London and Jonas yet. We're gonna get there soon. Jaden wanted Minecraft and I thought it was really cute because it looks like a mailbox I went ahead and picked up myself a new purse. I also have a matching wallet to go with it that I really, really like. I picked this purse up from the Burlington Coat Factory. It was originally $60, but I got it for 20 bucks. I don't know where the price tag is at for the wallet, but the wallet was only $9.99. I know it's not much, but to me, it means everything and I really like it. Here's the purse that I'm gonna be upgrading from. I think I just picked this purse up either from Walmart or Target. This is a nice little upgrade for me. I also got myself a dress from Walmart. I really like it. It's like pink camouflage. I have a size small and this was on, this was $12. I'm gonna wear this for like a super cute date night that Jake and I are gonna go on. I also picked up some bras. I did breastfeed so I lost a lot of my boobs. I am gonna be working with my OB doctor because I'm gonna be making some changes, but I did go ahead and pick up some really cute bras. This was actually a set of two. I really love the detailing, and I'm currently wearing one right now. Yes, I did wash it, and it's really, really comfortable. Like, I am a girl, I really love sports bras. I, too, I don't too much get bras like this, but whenever I do, it has to have like the extra support here at the bottom, so I still feel like I'm wearing a sports bra. And I thought these were gonna be very uncomfortable, but they are very, very comfortable. So here's the brand. So there's the brand. And then the bras were only, the bras were only $14.99. I did go ahead and pick up myself some new pajamas because I really needed some new pajamas. Ralph Lauren pajamas. It has a monogram right here on the pocket on the front. And then here's the design. I really love it. It comes with pants. This was originally $69. I got it for $24 at the Burlington Coat Factory. But right here I'm going to share Jake one's shorts. He picked up a pair of sweats as well. We didn't get any shorts with any logo on them. So we're going to use these sweats for a Cricut project. And I'm excited to make him some sweats that he want. Oh, these are shorts. I'm excited to make him some shorts that he want. And then he is already wearing the sweats that he got from the Burlington Coat Factory. So y'all will see that whenever he get back. This is another t-shirt that he got, which I really, really like this. This is an ASAP Ferg t-shirt. It says, always strive and prosper. He also has this blessed t-shirt. And then at the bottom it says, count your blessings. Here on the back it says, stay blessed. And then it has praying hands. And then it has count your blessings. And then it says, count your blessings instead of your crosses. Count your gains instead of your losses. 
Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. Count your joy instead of your woes. Count your friends instead of your foes. So I really like it. Here's shirt number three, y'all. Yes, yes, he went ahead and picked up a Leah t-shirt. Y'all already know. So here's a Leah. Y'all look at her beautiful hair. She's so beautiful. He went ahead and picked up this Aaliyah t-shirt and I was super surprised whenever I saw it, but he got that as well. And then right here we have some more stuff from Walmart, some pens, a book. This came in a pack of four. These are my absolute favorite pens ever. A new book, you know, what I need to get done throughout the day. So here's that. So then I also picked up some earrings for myself. So here's a mix of things that I just needed to get for myself because I've been running out of things. So I have some Dove lotion. This was $3.99. I get this Dove lotion because whenever I was a little girl, my grandma used to give us some lotion. This Dove lotion smells exactly like the lotion that she used to give us. So I always like to make sure that I have this Dove lotion on hand. I also picked up some blemish patches. I have been lacking on my skincare. I wanted to get a few things to help out in that category. Eyelash curler. I also have some lip lightener patches. I also picked up some face scrubbing brushes. This one right here is London's. And then here's the one that I got for myself. I also went ahead and picked up some new clips because I really need some new clips for my hair. I really do love this style of duck clips. I feel like it holds my hair a lot better. And then I also got myself some nourishing gloves because I really want to start taking care of my hands. I also have some cucumber and aloe face mask. I'm really excited. So that completes the whole entire haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just about to go ahead and continue with the cleaning and get this stuff put away. In our pantry, I wanted to move the deep freezer for the space. I saw in my comments, one of you guys suggested this and I can't remember who did, but I did love the idea. And now we have room for the other content that I do have planned for this area. So thank you guys so much. Slow dancing.
Jake and I, we've had this deep freezer a little over a year and I don't think I ever really share when we got it or where it's from. We got it from Target a little over a year ago and it's been good to us, a good major way for us to stay stocked up. We're a family of five and we run through food in the most insane way, it's unbelievable. I do have some content planned around our dining room so stay tuned because we're gonna be sharing some new videos soon in our dining room and I'm excited because I've had this stuff planned for a long time, like years ago, way before I even got the deep freezer. I did get some new clippers and you guys I'm excited I filmed a vlog whenever we cut the boys hair and we just got a few things so I included that along with some other real life clips that was just in between after practicing on a few other heads last time whenever I cut the boys hair y'all my clippers they went out so we picked up some more and I also just wanted to share the shears that I had and also the new clippers that I picked up As you guys can see, we had a lot to attack in our living room. Right now, I'm just picking up some dirty clothes and I am picking up after myself from doing hair, organizing yet again another closet, and I even shared some laundry motivation. So make sure you guys stay tuned.
Today I am also going to be organizing our cupboard under the stairs. I want to plot our Valentine's box and also put away our Christmas decor finally. I've been dreading this moment because it has so much stuff that we had stuffed in here saying we were going to get it taken care of and we never did it. So since I'm going to go in and grab our Valentine's decor, I want to pull everything out and organize it to the best I can for the time being. I wanna get you all alone now and go hide away from the lights But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile and for that I do apologize Maybe someday we can work it out but I'm afraid it's too late to try Baby I don't dare to love you and you know the reason why Don't you know a way to make to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets Cause every night, every night hey! I fall down in the middle of the night Screaming I do have some different ideas and some plans for this space that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in the near future. So make sure you guys stick around and you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back up in there because I'm going to have to pull it all back out sooner or later whenever we get this reorganized exactly how I want it to be. Even though I did just put everything back up in there, I did try to maximize the space as much as I could because I have a few other things that I need to add in there and then I'll show you guys the progress once we get that done. But for right now, I did go ahead and just put everything back up in there as much as I could to try to maximize the space that we had. Don't you know a way to wait to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets cause every night, every night Jacqueline is going to be heading out soon, so I sat down and tackled some laundry. Before he left, he did pick up upstairs. Our deal was before either of us leave, we clean a few areas first. It's been going good, so while he's doing that, I'm just going to be folding some laundry. We haven't picked out our portable washer and dryer yet, so we're still going back and forth to the wash house. But today we had a few loads done, so I included getting it done while I could. can't be seen you got that one thing that's hard to come by it's not your styling it's not your jeans no what you got is deeper within and your friends don't even know what you got they just hang with you cause you earn a lot you should lose them on the side hanging with me cause i'm the only one who can see Perfect mind, yeah. 
So whenever I fold our clothes, I like to just organize everything and put them away into baskets. Usually I will set them outside the kids' bedroom doors. That way it'll be easier on me whenever I go to their rooms clean and put things away. Tonight I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a look inside the baskets and I'm also gonna be taking you guys along with me upstairs so we can go ahead and get the clothes put away.
At the end of the night, when I was done cleaning, organizing, folding, and putting away laundry, I just wanted to check on our babies and also mop the floors downstairs. I still haven't gotten our new mop heads for our shark steam mop or our old cedar, but I am using our everyday household mop that we picked up from Target. I also didn't have any more pond saw, y'all, so tonight was just all out of whack. So I just went ahead and used my own mixture and some hot water. Anytime I clean like this, at the end of the day, when and if everything goes well, I really do take pride in mopping and just having a clean home before my husband do come back home. So I love anytime whenever I can go ahead and get the floors clean and mopped before he comes home. And it's always a bonus whenever I get that done before dinner too, so I'm just saying. Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I After tackling the floors, it's always a must. I make a quick dinner too, and then I'll call it a night. With cleaning and organizing all day today, I wanted to make something super quick, so we just had some hamburger helper. My favorite is beef stroganoff, but tonight I did want to switch it up, and I just made some chicken stroganoff. And on the side, we have some potatoes and vegetables, and of course, a piece of bread. Cause I got the system of favorite things You 
First, I wanted to go ahead and cut up our chicken and go ahead and get that cooked. I thought we had some quick potatoes, but turned out they needed to be thrown out. So I had to go ahead, cook the chicken, and then I had to quickly skim the potatoes and get them on so they would be done in time. Y'all, tonight was all in chaos. I told y'all that earlier, but once all that was done, I made everyone's plates and Jake was home. And all I needed to do was get him fed along with our babies and then put all of them to bed. Like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 